Hmm. Ha ha ha! It's I, the great and powerful Oz, or Mega Mind, if you've seen the movie. If not, whatever. Today, we're talking about the Turvagon. The Turvagon as an HQ choice, which is interesting, because after reading him, I can safely say I would not take the Turvagon as an HQ choice. This does not mean I wouldn't take the Turvagon. This would mean I would take it as a troop choice. Yes, because the Turvagon can be taken as a troop choice if you take 30 knots, which is cool. Um, so that means, A, it comes on the table, it possible coming on the table as outflank if you also take a hive tyrant that has the hive commander ability. It also becomes a scoring unit. And more importantly than all of that, after it walks on on the side of the table, it can spawn other not broods, 3d6 of them to be precise. And do you know what's interesting? Those aren't a part of them. They are a separate unit. A separate troop scoring unit. Can you see the possibilities now? So, the Turvagon for me is, is definitely more of a troop choice because I couldn't really just see it taking it as my Hive Command or even as a secondary HQ. It does have some other interesting abilities. First of all, it is a psychic unit, hive mind unit, uh, so that it's a level one. That means it gets one hive mind power ability. Hopefully, onslaught. Personally, I think it should have had onslaught as its default choice if it w if they wanted this to be a um, in line with all of the other psychic units in the game. What does Onslaught do? Quick reminder, Onslaught allows you to choose a unit within 24 inches and it can run and shoot in the same phase. So instead of running or shooting, it runs and shoots in the same phase. This is important because most deep striking and reserve arriving creatures can typically only run or shoot with onslaught you now do both pretty much giving you almost a normal turn coming in from reserve once again hive mind powers better than biomancy don't let anybody tell you different next the turvagon also gives all knots within 12 inches uh, what is it? Furious Charge? Is it Furious Charge? Uh, counterattack! It's Counterattack. That was it. Very nice. You can you can imagine that because they're popping on the game. They're, they're popping in and, and, and you get to hit back. So either you're reaching the unit first or they're hitting you first or this thing, it would be really nice if it rolls a psychic attack of Warp Blast. Now you've got a Turvagon coming on, Turvagon slash Zoanthrope popping onto the table at the same time, uh, spewing out scoring troop units. That would be fairly impressive. Um, it can take Biomorphs, I believe, and like, the, like most of the Hive monstrous creature HQ choices. So that leaves you a lot of possibilities. Um, you can again throw into the acid blood so that anybody hits it is getting hit back at strength 5, AP 2, at the initiative of the wound. Um, toxin sacks, obviously good. Again, like I said, more of a troop choice. And if you play it right, I believe you could get two Hive Tyrants, both with Hive Commanders. You take 60 Knots, which are a separate unit. It is not a part of the Turvagon unit. So that means you get two of those sitting back, two 60 Knots sitting back, 
and two turvagons popping in on outflank if you take two hive tyrants with hive commander to make those units out flanking you combine that with other things that allow you to chime in when you come in the game like say a aegis defense line or a bastion with comms up or comms array upgrade you now get to re-roll failed um reserve rolls it's a good chance that these guys will come on and you could imagine you could just imagine two of these guys coming on on the same side of the table with different psychic powers um pretty useful uh, if you if you base your arm around it they're they're definitely if you're going to build a swarm army that would be the way i suggest you go um <clears throat> definitely so not as much of an HQ choice as I see them. Uh, the other good things that it could, the bad things about it is 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 the psychic backlash. If it dies, which hopefully if you buy regeneration for it will make that much tougher to do, then it's almost like an anti progenitor. So that means you roll three d six and the knots within i believe it's 12 inches of you take 3d6 wounds so it's almost like it's eating them back up uh you, every turn i believe it's in your movement phase you roll 3d6 and you create a new not unit you don't reinforce you don't add you create a new unit that can score and all types of fun stuff of course if they're coming in as a troop choice with the 30 knots then they're also a scoring unit that's a monstrous creature scoring unit some people might find that useful um <clears throat> what else is there really to say about it that that pretty much covers it at least that's how i would use it there's probably some other ways you can use it as an hq um, I'm just giving my first impressions of it, actually more than first, because I thought about it a lot and read it a lot, and that's how I would see to be the best way of using it, instead of occupying an HQ choice. I hope you find that interesting, and once again, I look forward to you seeing my next videos, and please like and subscribe if you like it. Thank you. See you next time.